from the index point of view, right, that a lot of names are apparently waking up, coming out of this channel. Now the question is, does beta finally get pulled off? That's the very big question today. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So, I got it all wrong, right? I, I, I got it all wrong. And I, I've been saying this for a couple of um, videos about how index managers needed to be long Tesla prior to the December 21st inclusion. I was completely wrong, okay? I didn't realize and I, until like three, four people sent it to me. The index managers need to be long. They're allowed to be long after the inclusion. So basically, none of this is index buying it. And this is the absolute craziest part of it. It seems that if you're watching the order flow in the options market on Tesla, you'll notice, especially today, we saw 550, 600, 630 weekly calls that expire on Friday. Keep this in mind, they are, they are missing a day and a half because Thursday we are off, right? Because of Thanksgiving holiday. And Friday, we are on a half a day. So these people are betting this thing's going to 600 bucks with one and a half days of no market action. Think about how crazy this is. But then we started watching call buyers coming in for three in three week expiration, December 700, 680, 700 calls. We saw a guy come in for the January 1050 calls. Okay, so basically the guy is saying the stock is gonna double by January. And I was sitting there, I'm like, how are these people making these crazy bets? Again, the stock is a runaway trade. We've, we've covered levels uh, till we're blue in the face. We've taken advantage of this move. So we're not talking about from the, from the trading aspect. I was thinking to myself, how are these people betting this aggressively? Don't they already know that the index managers are already long the stock? Apparently what's happening here is hedge funds are front running the index funds. That's how, this is why the squeeze is going on. So when there is $60 billion, $60 billion worth of stock to buy as of December 21st, now it all makes sense why these people are putting on these bets, 680, 700 call buying. I mean, there's a lot of money that still needs to be put uh, into work. So absolutely, just absolutely phenomenal of what's going on in Tesla. Uh, congratulations for all you guys who've been riding the stock. I mean, every single day has been given us tremendous opportunity. But today you saw that beautiful 2025 point gap up uh, into supply perfectly. It sold off. And then afternoon, if you looked at uh, my regular feed, I said that 549, 550 area. That was going to be the squeeze spot. And if you look where it took off, right? Here's the 549 area and just, just absolutely going bonkers right now. Uh, it's up to almost 565 after hours. So again, crazy run. Uh, say what you want about the company. If you love the stock, if you love the company, if they love the product, that's great, right? Because I, I love all three, okay? And it doesn't make a difference to me which way I trade it, but it obviously feels better uh, when this thing is really, really squeezing, you know, squeezing the lemons. Uh, but for all you guys who just you just just don't hate you know hate the stock whatever the case may be hate the company hate the CEO I'm telling you as as, as I would tell my kids just move on move on you lost it's over I mean move on there's there's nothing really left to talk about uh, you can say whatever you want about the financials the execution whatever the case the market has spoken in plain this case and again the market has spoken you don't need to be mad at me or be mad it's the scoreboard I mean you, you're looking right at it everybody's looking right at it and the most important part is again. You're, you're burning so much energy just talking about the stock. You're either trading it, investing in it, or just leave it alone. Again, you're, this stock is going to put you mentally into an institution. If you're not uh, physically involved with the name uh, and you're trading it you know, on a daily basis, just leave it alone. There's so many other places uh, you could be uh, putting your energy, uh, putting your you know, financially 
uh, hard-earned money, just leave it alone. It's, it's just, again, but again, for all you guys who have been uh, rocking this thing, God bless. It's, it's an absolute, uh, absolute godsend. It's an absolute blessing. And congratulations for you guys uh, who took the trade. So uh, let's talk about today. Uh, Q's finally woke up. Okay, a very, very uh, important session today. We talked about the Q's being kind of dead in the water, man, for like three weeks. And they finally got above uh, this 293.75, uh, 294 area. Uh, they're trading in 295 after the close. Finally, there's some sort of light. And again, we're not quite out of the woods yet. If you look at a lot of names and you'll see them, you know, Netflix still looks like crap, right? I finally caught NVIDIA today. Finally. It was a day early, but finally caught NVIDIA today. We'll talk about uh, the individual pivots in a second. But again, NVIDIA still looks like crap, right? If you look at uh, a lot of names, they still look like hot garbage, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. At least we are seeing from the index point of view, right, that a lot of names are apparently waking up coming out of this channel. Now the question is, does beta finally get pulled up? That's the very big question today. Uh, and going into tomorrow, I think you have to give uh, these beta stocks the benefit of the doubt, right? Amazon, you got Black Friday, right? You got Black Friday coming up uh, in a couple of days. If you're like me, if you're like you, if you're like your neighbor or anybody else you know, they're probably me clicking that keyboard to try to get some good, well, Christmas gifts, right? Um, so look at this channel here. And again, this, this is basically the same channel as we talked about Netflix, right? A couple of days ago when it had that really, really big spike. If you look at the chart on Amazon, it doesn't scream out, oh my God, look how great the stock looks. Look how great the stock looks. Again, the stock is going to need to really close above you know, 3180 for it to be on breakout mode. But if you look at this range tomorrow, if they could finally reclaim this range, and you can see how many times it's got rejected here in the last five sessions, one, two, three, even today, not quite many. So you're talking about four times in this whole area here. If it starts reclaiming, then look how much room you have uh, to the upside. So it's again, it's a play we definitely want to watch tomorrow. Look at Microsoft. Again, it's kind of mirroring uh, the queues right now, right? The queues came out of the range and Microsoft reclaimed the 10 day moving average on a close, right? All it needs to do is reclaim this 10 day, confirm it, and this thing can wake up. Look at Facebook, same thing. Again, not out of the woods yet, but again, first close off, off daily supply. If it could take out this whole channel here, then this can go up as well. Uh, Marriott, right? Look at Marriott as well. Uh, big consolidation on earnings, finally waking up. Again, if it confirms, it can go higher as well. So there's a bunch of names that look like this, but there's also a bunch of names that look like crap, okay? So we wanna definitely omit the crap, okay? We, you know, tomorrow's session is going to be hit and miss as far as volume. If you saw the liquidity today, somewhere around 11 o'clock or so, even though the market started getting stronger, it felt like more of a melt up than a range break confirmation in the macro circuit on the queues. So again, tomorrow, again, it's a day before Thanksgiving. Uh, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be off for tomorrow's session just because again, well, again, they're spending family time or even traveling again. You know, uh, the government says don't travel, right? Don't travel, you're gonna spread this uh, disease out. Uh, pandemic is going to go crazy. But again, people are going to travel. They're going to uh, visit their families. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see tomorrow if we get a gap down open, which again, market will never go down ever again. And again, for all you guys who, unfortunately, I have to use the word sarcasm when I say that because a lot of people turn around and say, ha ha, that's the, that's the top. It's sarcasm, people, right? When the market goes up this much, this fast, it's sarcasm. Of course, the market's going to go down, but not ever again right? So it's sarcasm. Okay. Learn, learn to wake up a little bit. Um, again, a lot of people, their biggest problem is they're trying to figure out the market. Sometimes common sense, you know, when somebody turns around and says, Hey, Tesla's going to 900 tomorrow. It's called a joke. It's sarcasm. Maybe it goes to a thousand tomorrow. I don't know. But again, it's sarcasm. Uh, anyway, so look, the market is very, very strong. Uh, we'll see how much value we do have tomorrow. Uh, a lot of the names are still way under supply. So, you know, they need a couple of days to get over it. Just because the queues are breaking out doesn't mean everything's going to break out with it. So we still have to use kind of common sense. Not everything's going to go up because even Apple uh, that had a really good reversal today, really good flush, first of all, uh, really good reversal. But you can see in the daily chart, it's not like it, it's screaming at you. I have to be long Apple. I have to be long Apple. Again, it's still in a dad downtrend and it still has to reclaim the five day moving average. Uh, even Square that was really, really strong had a big run today, you know, got rejected and just got slammed down as 
well. So we're not out of the woods for individual stocks, but the queues are starting to look a lot better. And the fact that they closed above that 294 area, at least on the surface, at least is going to at least are going to give these stocks at least a puncher's chance to rally tomorrow. So again, we'll see. Uh, for all you guys who are um, celebrating the, the Thanksgiving holiday and taking off tomorrow, uh, or any, anybody just watching this broadcast, I, again, guys, I wish you guys uh, lots of love and happiness, a lot of health. You know, just smile. It's, it's so easy to smile. And the people who can put a smile on their face usually would live a much more productive, satisfying life. Smile. It doesn't really cost you to smile. Just try to put a smile on your face and maybe life will be a little bit more sweeter. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. There weren't a lot of them, okay? But the ones that triggered, the ones that confirmed really did well. Uh, and just because we were kind of in no man's land pretty much the whole day, I knew I didn't want to get long the market because we had such a big run up into supply. So we were kind of waiting for that downward flush and we got it and we got it pretty well. Um, so I put 475 on Netflix, it traded 475.80, so never got down here. Uh, Apple Apple, and NVIDIA were the two big ones. Uh, I missed Apple, I caught NVIDIA. Uh, Apple, uh, 1370, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Apple, we talked about Apple last night in the video, right? Here was the 1375, and it went right to the next support of 1250s. Uh, you'll see in a second, I said 1230s, 1250s is the next support. It traded there perfectly. Um, I was a day off, right? A day off. Square never got to 210. Uh, Boeing, again, congratulations to all you guys who had this overnight. Traded right to 220 supply. Great job there. Um, I, you know, I traded it yesterday. I had, took some cash flow on it yesterday. I couldn't figure out why I didn't crack it. Well, they finally cracked it today. 520 for builds below. Uh, can flush. Here was uh, Nvidia. Here was Nvidia. Here was the 520. Right. Here was the whole 520. Just got pounded. Uh, my lowest cover was 516. So I was pretty happy with the cover. And it's still the funny thing is it still looks like crap. So I, I still want to watch this thing uh, to the downside tomorrow. But again, you know, today was one of those days that you really had to be patient uh, for the pivots. And again, here is uh, Apple. Uh, I said 1230, 1250 support traded at 1259. Uh, really nice move there. Again, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. And again, the two tr things that triggered did very, very well. I said, hey, not bad considering uh, for the lack of value that we did see this morning, really not bad at all. So good job for all you guys who took it there. Uh, nothing on Zoom. Uh, TTD put up like a ten dollar candle. Uh, eight forty eight, eight fifty needs to build. I mean, it did okay, but it's just so thin, right? So it took out this uh, eight forty eight level. Uh, it went to eight fifty nine. So put up a ten dollar move. It still looks higher for tomorrow. Uh, again, if the market rallies, it should rally as well. Uh, again, and here's the big macro break. Uh, two ninety three eighty, two ninety four needs to build. And here are the cues. Right here are the Qs, 293, uh, 75, 294, and they're pretty much, pretty much trading at 95 and change right now. So good value. The key is, again, guys, every single day, you don't need to trade uh, 200 stocks a day. That's not what it's about. It's all about getting value. Some days you'll have five pivots. Some days you'll have one pivot. The key is it's not about how much you trade. It's how many you trade properly. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless and, God's, and God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.